gonna go running off when we need you? Spit an image of his father. Drinking gets him this way. Lily, we're a better wife to him. He wouldn't have to drink. Please, everyone, just, just remain, remain calm. Uh, let's take a look, okay? Just take a look. Oh, we do have a problem. Ain't hey, nobody can live with looks like that. <laughs> we, we got ourselves a genuine freak in Wahala! <laughs> they say he can't learn, but I know better. Nobody understands him, Mom. Nobody. Now let me tell you people, you are hungry not because of our failure, but because your husband spends the money on drinking. Macaroni again? Hush. Two choices, Mrs. Bartlett, and only two. The elementary school or the institution. You ain't a coward, are you? I'd rather face kids than have to face Pa. Donald Duck, say quack quack. Hey, Babby, look at this kid. He can't talk. What's the matter with his nose? Go ahead, Donald Duck. Say quack quack. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> We must not laugh at Donald. We must be kind. Remember, we all have something wrong with us. Donald is mentally slow. He doesn't learn like you like children, children do. We'll leave him for the wolves if they'll have him. Let's head back to the fort. You can't just leave him here all night. What if something happens to him? Who's the general? Obviously, he's not emotionally well adjusted. He has a horrible <clears throat> odor about him. And therefore, he hasn't one friend among his classes. Should we hold him back? Over my dead body! Oh no, I'm green as a second grade teacher, not a therapist. Say, uh, mother, is our maid, Mrs. Bartlett, is she in any relation to that Indian kid at school? The one that can't talk and the one that the kids laugh at? I haven't any idea. Hmm. Mrs. Bartlett. He's a wild boy. You're fine house. I don't no believe the things that I hear. Bring him to me. I, I'd like to meet this wild boy. Beulah, you don't plan on having this kid here every day, do you? Mother! No white person gives a spit for us unless they get something out of it. She'll rob, cheat, and drain our blood just like her husband does at the store. She's our only hope! The anger! No! no. Charlie, I want you to grab some of the spoiled meat and put it in the hopper for sausage. <laughs> the Indians will suck it up. And uh, I'm the QT, Charlie. Hey, boss. I want to help him. <laughs> Ain't nobody can do that. It can't hurt to try, can it? You done talking? Uh, yes, I suppose I am. It might be a rumor, but I heard it from the horse's mouth. Something is very peculiar having him over so often. They say he's a half-breed. Well, it's not my position to judge. Beulah, this kid is a typical Indian. If he's not sponging off welfare, he'll be leeching off me. Patience, dear. I have none. It often takes time for one to fully take in God's plan for them. Thank you, Pastor. Abraham, you're stealing his money! He's under my roof and he'll do as I say. Leave him alone! He ain't hurting you! Look at this shirt! The only thing you ever think about is this kid! Nobody listens! If only you would listen to me, then we would be happy. Why can't we be happy? Why can't we be happy? Voices. 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 Cry out for help. Help. Silence. Friday, January 31st, 7 p.m. Saturday, February 1st at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Sunday, February 2nd at 2 p.m. You will want to hear the rest of the story.